Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the books that I would recommend you read this Pride Month. As you may know, June is Pride Month and a celebration of all things LGBTQ+. So in today's video I obviously wanted to recommend to you five books that you can read this Pride just to celebrate it in all its glory. These books are all books that I absolutely love and ones that I would recommend in a heartbeat. There is kind of a mixture of like formats in this video, a mixture of different types of queer literature. These books are all fiction. I sadly haven't read a lot of queer non-fiction so do let me know if you have any recommendations of what I should read. But in celebration of Pride Month I wanted to give you guys my favourite queer books and just recommend them to you. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please Please do hit that subscribe button for weekly bookish videos and of course if you're already subscribed why not hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from me and let's check it on with the video so my first recommendation is a book called the song of achilles by madeline miller so this is actually a historical fiction book which I often don't read a lot of queer historical fiction books so if you do have any recommendations there let me know because I'm a big historical fiction reader. The Song of Achilles is about Achilles, the kind of like ancient Greek like hero and Patroclus who is kind of known in the Greek myth to be his lover. This is a male male love story, um, it is heartbreaking, it is beautiful, it made me fall head over heels in love with these characters and why I think you should read this for Pride Month is because it's something a little bit different. A lot of the books that I would typically recommend are kind of like YA contemporary um, gay love stories but actually I wanted to recommend The Song of Achilles because I'm sure you've heard about it, it's such a kind of popular um, very very famous book by Madeline Miller but you know I think reading it with a queer perspective as well is really interesting and actually kind of analysing that love story and how Madeline Miller's portrayal of these characters I think is really great. It is probably a lot more mainstream than the other books in this video I will recommend to you but I think this is a great place to start if you're not sure where to start with your reading for Pride Month or you kind of want to read um, a gay love story then this is a great place to start. Obviously it's got the historical fiction elements, it's got action, but at the heart of it is this beautiful, heartbreaking, like enduring love story between these two men. And I fell head over heels for this book. I cried my heart out. It is 10 out of 10. So I would really recommend it to you for your first book to read this Pride Month. My second recommendation, as I mentioned, I do read a lot of YA contemporary, usually like gay love stories. And one of my favorites in this genre is What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. So this is about two boys who happen to meet in this bizarre set of circumstances. I think they're at the post office and they have this like hilarious kind of scene where they bump into each other and basically they have this instant attraction. The love story definitely centers on, you know, what if it's us? Like, do we get a chance at this? It's kind of about near misses. Um, basically these two boys just form this like beautiful like attachment to each other. It is one of the funniest most endearing, lovable books ever. But what I really enjoy about this book is that it's not one to shy away from issues. So for example, one of the characters is very much out with his family and is very much kind of like living his truth. But the other character is a lot more reserved. He has not come out to his family yet. And it's all about those dynamics of like these two boys who love each other, but their circumstances are completely different you know, um, one of the boys is actually from a lower income family and he kind of struggles with his place in the world. And the other boy that he falls in love with is a lot more kind of like affluent and just very, very confident in who he is. So I really enjoyed that balance of um, these two characters. And of course, it's written by Becky Albertalli who wrote Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda and Adam Silvera who has written so many of my favorite queer books, including More Happy Than Not, um, they both die at the end like he's they're both brilliant and two of my favorite people i actually got to interview them both for um their what if it's us book tour when they came over here in the uk um i think that was two years ago but that was such an amazing experience and you know like hearing from them how they crafted these characters especially how they took it in turns to write 
their different point of views in the book um, was just really great to hear. So I really would recommend What If It's Us if you're looking for something, I guess, a little bit more real. It's a lot more real than The Song of Achilles, let's just say that. It's more contemporary. It is, of course, YA and it is just incredible. I loved it so much. Okay, number three is something a little bit different because this has just come out and when I first started reading this, I didn't realize there was a queer love story in this book. So this book is Exciting Times by Misha Dolan and this features a female female love story and I think that love story is like one of my favorites that I've read in recent years to be honest. Um, so it's about this girl who basically is from Ireland. She moves over to Hong Kong. She does not have a lot of money, but she ends up having this very strange relationship with this man that kind of is more like an arrangement where, you know, there's like a sexual relationship there, but there is also like an exchange for having somewhere to live. Then this man goes away, she has the flat to herself, falls in love with a girl called Edith who lives, who is from Hong Kong. So basically it's about um, this character who, you know, doesn't really know her place in the world. And I think her sexuality is never really forced. Like she just falls in love with Edith while she's also in love. Well, I don't even know if she's in love with the other guy. You'll see when you read it what I mean, but I think the exploration of kind of, you know, the sexual kind of like fluidity of kind of um, not having to put labels on things. Obviously, she's a bisexual character. The romance is so beautiful in this book and I think really encapsulates that kind of fragility that you feel in your early 20s of like exploring your sexuality, not knowing, you know, who you basically will fall in love with. And I really enjoyed the relationship between, I think the main character's name's Eva, I think it is. Um, Eva and Edith um, is just absolutely beautiful. So I really enjoyed that. I would recommend that to you for something a little bit different. I actually haven't read many um, female, female love stories. So I would be really up for any of your recommendations. Let me know a lot of the books that I read, obviously YA, I read a lot of YA, but that space is often dominated by male, male love stories. So do let me know if you have any female, female love stories out there, let me know. I really would recommend Exciting Times. I really engaged with the love story. I thought it was beautiful. And I think in Pride Month, it's like the perfect book to kind of like, you know, it's understated, but I think it's so accessible. And I think it's a really great book in general. So I would recommend that. My fourth recommendation is an anthology and this is Proud. And this is edited by Juno Dawson, but it has stories from Dean Atter, David Levithan, Tanya Byrne, etc. Basically, this is a celebration of all things Pride in the form of short stories, art, poetry, you name it. Basically, this is the most joyous collection that I believe Little Tiger published was it two years ago maybe? Um, but basically, as I said, joyous, pure joy. I loved this because it is not just one part of pride. It's like it encapsulates the whole flag in that sense. There are trans stories in here. There are bisexual stories in here. There is all sorts of different, you know, experiences. And those are those authors' experiences. I just love how it's an own voices collection and it really is a celebration of all things Pride. So I think this is the perfect book to read in Pride Month because, you know, if you really want a range of different stories, you want a really diverse range of stories, um, this is perfect. So I really would recommend Proud. It's a good place to start with your reading for Pride Month. I will, of course, leave all links of all the books I mentioned down in the description bar so you can just check them out and buy them if you wish. And finally, the last book I would like to recommend to you this Pride Month is actually a graphic novel. This is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. So this is a book that I fell in love with. This is a graphic novel and it explores this boy who is basically in his final years at school. So it's set in a school and he basically meets and falls in love with the boy who's extremely popular. The main character is openly gay, but the guy he falls in love with, I think from what I can remember, is more like in the closet. He doesn't know if he's gay, but then they embark on this beautiful relationship. I am a big, big fan. Um, I think the art as well is really beautiful. I've not read many queer graphic novels, but this is just pure joy, as I said. It's just, 
so beautiful. I love that Alice Oseman does the art and the writing. It just has this very like united feel, united vision. It is a beautiful graphic novel and one that I really would recommend to you. If you're looking for a quick read this Pride and you're looking for something to fill your heart with, you know, pride I guess, and just like pure joy, this book is perfect. There's also many volumes of this. I think there's like three volumes now or four volumes. I will leave the first volume down in the description bar so you can check that out. That is the one that probably made me fall in love with this series so hard. I read that in like an hour and a half. I loved it. Um, so as my final recommendation, I want to recommend a graphic novel if you're you know, struggling to read at the moment. I know, you know, in the current climate, a lot of people have been saying they're really struggling to read, but graphic novels might be a good way around this. Um, so if you do wanna read and celebrate Pride through your reading choices this month, then a graphic novel is a great place to start. So guys, that is it for the books that I would like to recommend to you this Pride. I hope you all have a joyous Pride month. So I hope you enjoy these choices. I hope you recommend in the comments like further reading. So if you think there's anything I missed out here, this is not a definitive list. Leave all your recommendations down in the comments for me and I will check them out. So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please do hit that subscribe button and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.